Welcome to this tutorial about the easy chart trade in which we're going to show how the different scripts work and how the dynamics of the uh, game or of the application work. So first of all you have to go to scenes stock market and inside you will have the canvas and a chart game object. In the chart game object you can select the read XM data line script which uh, is going to create the um, this following image of the evolution of a financial uh, stock market value. Then uh, if you move your cursor or your mouse over the different values you will be able to retrieve the information about the different limits and uh, upper and lower values of the different markers. So that's what we are uh, making in this in this um, short tutorial. We are explaining how it works and what you can do with this package is the following. You can go ahead and change the lines as you can see here, even delete them if you want, or change the width of them in order to make it more uh, attractive. You can also change the number of divisions in order to make it more uh, efficient to read or easy to read. And you can also change the markers colors. You can do that by going directly to the prefabs, to the horizontal line or the mark it up, for example. And if you want to change the color, you can go ahead and inside the image, you can do it directly here. So for example, if you want a different color, you can change it easily by clicking in the different um, uh, color selector. Another thing you can do is uh, you can change the data that we have uh, created for you. For example, if you want to show um, a number of ticks that is um, higher, for example, if you have 500 ticks, you can go ahead and do it in the point data 500 value and the behavior will be something like this and as well you have the option of moving the cursor over the different values in order to get the information of the different uh, stock market uh, values another thing you can do is change the size of the chart easily by script as you can see so now you are getting uh, a zoom of a part of the chart and you can do that easily from the, the editor mode or the uh, player mode uh, doing it by script for example. So you can implement yourself that zoom or uh, left to right uh, movement in order to generate that, um, that effect on your, on your chart if you want to generate like a live streaming movement of the of the of the data. So that's all regarding how the dynamic of the packet works. If you want more information there are two more tutorials. One in which we're going to explain a little bit more the code and another one in which we explain how to generate this data that you see in this in this demo. So thanks for watching and keep tuned for more information and for more packages.